And also following this attack on the Kaduna bound train by gunmen, repairs have begun in earnest on the damaged portion of the Abuja Kaduna rail line. And this is even as the federal government is considering recruiting locals for security at black sports areas. The Minister of Transportation, Rutmi Major, disclosed these in Kaduna during a visit to victims of the attack on the Kaduna bound train by gunmen. And Amechi said the Office of the National Security Advisor will be consulted to ensure that due diligence is followed with people recruited as security personnel. And we are now being joined by the Managing Director, Nigeria Railway Corporation, Engineer Fidet Okiria. Thanks for joining us. Good afternoon, Nigerians. Thank you for joining us. Good it's afternoon. And, uh, it's, it's not a very good time anyway, so, but we will we, we, we hope on and uh, we continue to do our work. We will not give up. Of course. And uh, the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, has said that repair um, work on the rail tracks have started earnestly. Can you please give us a clear timeline from start to finish of the said work? Okay, we, we have started work and we are hoping two weeks time uh, the train will be back on track. Uh, the, the accident happened in the cutting by that, uh, that is about uh, 10 meters uh, 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 below the uh, uh, ground level and it will limit uh, uh, response to, to, to claim the uh, uh, the delayed uh, rolling stock. We, it's not possible to use crane. We have rail cranes, but rail cranes cannot be maneuvered. Uh, the the cranes can. It's a 150 ton crane that can lift the coaches and turn them back to 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 where the track is good. But unfortunately, the portion where this is going take place, uh, the crane cannot maneuver. There. So we are using our prevailing jacks, which will take more time. Than the, than the crane. As I said earlier, we hope by in two weeks' time, the, the locations would have been reclaimed and put back on traction while the crane stopped back. So it will take time to bring the coaches back because of the bullets and the damage done on, on the rolling stock. That's okay. why we will not be, we take some time to come out. But the other rolling stock that we are not attacked will be put to use. Okay, well said then. Um, it has also been reported that local personnel are being recruited as security operatives at the rail tracks, considering the fact that the latest bandit attacks proved them wielding superior firepower and ordination. Is this really the way to go? Uh, we are thinking that the intelligence should be provided by locals because those people live among them. And uh, it is. It, we are having a rating because even just last uh, Monday, the, the, the district management, by that, the team managing that went on a, a committee presentation and they talked with the chief, they talked with everybody. And a, a day later, all this thing happened. So we will be careful. We are, we are, normally, we provide, uh, there are some job level that come. You cannot. You provide for the uh, people along, along the track because of the nature. So we, we, we will not. See, we will not deviate from that. That's what I will say. We will not. We will not intentionally just the community come and take over the track maintenance or inspection because there are thirty trains. Uh, train you have to undergo. Okay. All right. Um, that being said, um, now concerning the number of the people on the train. We're hearing that 398 tickets were reportedly sold and 372 ticket holders reportedly boarded. Headcount was reportedly 970 on board. And you see these figures, they do not tally. If true, who, and who, is this a, who, who, a case who, who, of racketeering? Who counted? Bring out that person who said he counted 970. I bring them live on chat on the first TV. Let us talk. Who is that person? Job mentioned that single person that said he had 970 on board. The, the entire train at maximum will take 840, including standing. And that day was a Monday. Trips to 
uh, from Abuja to Canada or more, they are not heavy. If, if it was Friday, Saturday, you can say something like that. Uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the other uh, media has interviewed the, uh, some people who were on that trade. Okay. So uh, you, we have given a authentic figure with printouts, with, uh, uh, you see, the, the, the Abuja Kaduna uh, route, there is no way you can close it to the platform without using your ticket. And there is no way you can exit the okay. platform without using your ticket. All right, I just want to cut you in here. I just want you to just officially just tell us the official figures that you believe were on board the train. The, the not only official, but correct. 398 people bought tickets. Those tickets are sold online. And even when you come to the station to buy, it is still online. You can buy, buy by using the web or using the app or you buy at the station. So. 398 people bought tickets and 362 we are validated by that they crossed the barrier okay to enter the trade all right all right and we have been calling we have been making call because to buy a ticket you must put your phone number okay, so, okay. and we have been making calls 123 people have responded positively that they are live and ready and 17 people said they bought ticket for their sibling, which they have not heard from. Okay, so, so people... And we have also received calls from family who said the, kid, uh, the bandits have used their, relation, uh, their sibling or relation to call them. Okay. To ask them to go and meet the government to provide money. We have received three of such information. Okay, now we still understand that some people are still um, missing and their, their relatives or relatives have not, you know, contacted you to let you know that they are missing. Now, uh, having said that, we, we want to let you go now because, like you said, it's not a good time. I want to thank you for the information you've passed across to us and we're wishing that everything will end well and these people will be freed sooner or later. We'll pray hard and we'll wish them well thank you thank you so much have a great day hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates